F1 game funny moments to cure our winter break depression. Let's go. And we're starting off with th this is just bullying at this point. This is bullying. Yuki Sonoda, POV, lights out. And away. I did, quite a surprise he even saw the five red lights somehow. Uh, we've got a really good view into turn one, clearly, as we're, you know, chucking it down the inside. I'm guessing, um, making turns one and two, maybe a slight bit of cop. We saw a bit of a hint of a, another car for the first time. It's tough. It's tough out here being Sonoda, apparently, because this actually seemed entirely accurate, which is why it is bullying. Already met half the grid and I racing. F1 esports drivers immediately after their season was over. I don't want to play with you anymore. Well, to be honest, to be honest, not just esports players. A lot of us were like this after maybe... Two months? Two months of the game being out? Corner, is it called motor racing? Right, Red Bull pit stop and finally got some clarity on the quality there. And they've been hijinks. They've been hijinks by some Ferrari tactics here. This is this is motor racing, okay? Others may call it parking up, car park settings in the pit lane, but no. Christian Horner and Red Bull, this is is motor even the mclaren team are having a go at it you can see in the distance here this is probably this is actually maybe the worst case of double stack itis i've ever seen from the game it seems like four teams uh blocked each other in the pit lane i mean seeing my t our teammate got blocked off there as well that's what happens when you have at least four teams double stack the game doesn't know how to handle it i would love for it to be a thing in real life can you imagine ferrari pulling off this tactic on red bull f122 in a nutshell code masters having a look at new couches rather than fixing actually to be fair i don't know if they've actually added any new furniture into the latest podium pass, which I've, I do realize is a very weird sentence to say about a Formula One racing game. I don't think they've added any new furniture into the latest po- yeah. For, yeah. I'm actually curious. I'm going to check it right now. Right, latest podium pass. Let's go all the way back to level one and see what bits they've got. Is there any furniture here nothing to be seen so far up to level 10 we have some clothing items okay so is it f122 or is it asos.com who knows no furniture though i think they've learned their lesson i think they <laughs> you know what's happened here is i think cody's and ea legitimately have uh, learned from the poor reaction to the podium pass in f1 life that they deliberately have not put any furniture in the podium passes from now on there used to be plenty are there any in the item shop? No! I think they've actually legitimately removed them all from these things because they knew the reaction was just going to be anger. Uh, but they have included the most, the most god-awful prestige emblem. And for prestiging completely, some prestige caps! Yay! Final lap, final corner racing for the win. And me and George both bin it. Zanvort, the banking. Is there going to be a horrendous crash? There's a side and there is a crash. How, how have you both done that? How has the AI done that? I know it's wet conditions, but neither of you won the race. Third place is there just like, oh my lord, this is a turn up for the books. He's not even close to you. He's not in the distance there. Now, this isn't exactly a funny moment, but it is quite a moment to maybe get excited. Natalie Pinkham doing some possible motion capture for F123. Because that's a mocap uh, costume, you know, seen in plenty of other single player games like, you know, The Last of Us or anything like that, where they've done mocap kind of performances for the cutscenes, etc. Generally speaking, you wouldn't bother mocapping the entire body if you weren't going to be a fully realized character in a cutscene, you know, having that capture done. So. Maybe there is hope yet that F123 will have some interesting new con- I mean, possibly, probably most likely this is for the story mode, but maybe it might feed into the career mode. So, you know, in the in amongst the depression here of winter break, maybe some solace on the horizon for the next F1 game. Can someone please explain to me this abomination that's happened in my career? It, there's no explanation needed. It's just a new Ferrari tactic. We saw earlier they were working on the blocking in the pit lane. This is a new tactic. If we block their race engineers from never leaving the pit gantry, they won't go to bed 
properly for Sunday's race. They'll be tired and therefore Red Bull can't pull a masterclass strategy because their engineers will all be too fed up. Equally, it could just be for our incompetence for thinking that's where they have to park the car. Pick, pick your poison. First time I buy the VIP pass, what the hell is this? Um, yeah, you know, what, what that is, is, is some fine helmet work, okay? They put a lot of work into making that, whatever it is, the top of the Christmas pudding helmet, 3D, okay? They spent a lot of time 3D modeling these, um, you know, helmet toppers, but that meant they couldn't work on working on 3D models, I don't know, say, of swappable chassis or swappable nose cones in my team, for example, to give the player a bit of difference in the car model season to season. No, instead, what they wanted was to give us some realistic Christmas pudding 3D helmets where the leaves and berries or whatever the hell that is pokes out the top. Have you seen the fish helmet? Even better work. Even That's the kind of stuff we want to see in an F1 game. How does this even happen? Right, let's see. My team into turn one. Uh, F1 2021 as well. Oh, what the? <laughs> what? The? How does that even happen indeed? What? Are you sure you didn't have like the Kirby's Lava mod installed onto there? Just absolutely Tom cruised it through turn one all on his own. Oh, RIP. Engine decided to go pop. One lap to go. Season two, round three. That 31, 5.8 seconds leading. Look, I know, I, I all know too well the pain of this. Welcome to the club. It doesn't get any easier every failure. Massive crash, 14 deer. It sounds like one of the My Team Karimas from Baku, to be honest, but it's Jeddah, and there's a huge pile up, and the AI are simply just all, yeah, they're just pile driving into it because there's no slow down logic there. And now, at this point, if there was a red flag in the game, it would be a red flag because the whole track's now completely covered. Nice strategy, at What is this strategy screen we've let's dissect this we've either got a two stop that two pit stops that don't involve two pit stops because it's actually clearly just a no stop so that's good the we don't actually know when those two you're gonna have to choose for yourself you just have to feel it out we're gonna do no calculations there and that's gonna take us apparently 62 minutes but according to the data in 20 minutes we can do a four stop and this is in a 13 lap race by the way so usually would take about i don't know 20 to 25 minutes somehow we're reducing that to 20 minutes with four stops involved one of which what is this stint this is a one lap soft tire stint before going on to mediums apparently the same mediums that can go the whole 14 laps in a two stop zero stop race I think I got that correct. You're welcome. Now, this is why, this is simply why Mark needs to be fired. If Mark's made up this strategy, bring back Jeff now. Bring him back. Bro, my race ended under a safety car. I didn't even know this was a thing. Safety car incident. We are going to the line. Couple of people with penalties. Nothing untoward. One, two for the My Team team here. What this is, is it's the Michael Massey edition of F122. Um, where you can just finish the race when you want. Caught up in some Merc drama. Right. Lap one of the Abu Dhabi GP. Five laps here. Two Mercs indeed ahead of us. And I'm guessing there's going to be an almighty manner of incident here. And this Ferrari is going to benefit greatly. Oh, brake check. Brake check by the leading Merc. It's all kicked off. And... <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just fully got taken out by the man he just break checked. That's why you don't break check your teammate on the opening lap of a race, okay? Looks like we've got a theme of dirty drivers today because we've got another one at Spa. This one's not even a real person. This is a dirty AI driver online. Not surprised. They're a bit erratic and Perez has just taken you out. Just for, like, literally, just for no reason. He had the inside line. Yeah, see, in these types of situations, the Halo... It, it, it needs a bit more work, you know, because how how is it how is it not saved you there? And the question has to be asked: What's Paul Pogba doing? AI Magnuson is insane. I will be the judge of that. What's going to happen here? Uh, oh, uh, 
Seems seems about normal, to be honest. I guess it's time to go to bed. At this point, yes. Maybe even time to refund the game, maybe, at this point. Because, yes, this is um, interesting, to say the least. Um, it might be slightly broken. Slightly. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Or maybe this is the new feature of the game. Pure bankruptcy. And the whole HQ has been sucked into a vortex. Hamilton decides to ram me under a safety car. Is he just gonna... Oh, okay. <gasps> that is pure. Oh, that is pure unfiltered shock there from the AI having pure violence. I love it. How much for this game? Uh, there, there's not a price tag. This is actually what you're holding right there is a bit of priceless... Uh, it's an artifact. It's an artifact. That should be in a museum. Yep, this seems about right. This seems about right, Mark. Looks like there's an issue with the engine. The viewers checking how much time's left on the video. And I am Michael Scott. No! God, please no. That I'm actually... I'm still hurting from season four. Oh, beautiful new livery. Calibrate. Yeah, more like the game needs calibration. What's going on there? Okay. This is taking chameleon camo to a whole new level. How? how? How does this even happen? How do you enter a race and let this happen? 97% and it's still going apparently because you're not on a retirement screen. And yet my engine with new components in season four was failing every other race. How on earth could this happen six months after the release? Very easy, mate. Very I've had it two different times in my team. Everyone getting disqualified before the um, before the lights go out. And you can see, just like I did in Sao Paulo, it's because of one car still failing to make it to the formation lap. And they're just trundling around. <laughs> so in conclusion, clearly the F1 game is in a very strong place. So that's where we're going to end it off then for today, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And hopefully our winter break depression is going to be over pretty soon. You know, we're only like two weeks out from the cars starting to launch and everything can wind back up for that new season. But till then, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye.